Hello everyone, Maldron here. Welcome to another ClassicWoww.Live guide. In this guide, we're going to go over how you can get your Goblin Transponder as a Horde character and run Nomorgon, a level 28 to 35 dungeon. So if some of you have never heard of this, what is the Goblin Transponder? It's an item reward that you can obtain following a short quest chain, which allows Horde players to transport themselves from Booty Bay and Strangothorn Vale to Nomorgon directly therefore bypassing the need to run through Alliance territory, and to make things even better, it transports you very close to the instance portal itself. Normally, Nomorgon is not a very attractive dungeon to do for Horde players because of its distance away from Horde cities and capitals, and since it's located in Dunmoreau, which is of course Alliance territory. But with a transponder, it makes getting to Nomorgon very easy. So is it worth going to Nomorgon at all? Are there good loot drops? Are there good quest rewards? These next few slides will go over them. All the items on this slide are blue items that are obtainable from killing bosses. As you can see, a lot of these are very flavorful and interesting. Look at the Hydro Cane, which allows underwater breathing. The Manual Crowd Pummeler, which has three charges that increases your attack speed by 50% for 30 seconds. Now, if you know anything about Feral Druid DPS, this item is pretty much required if you want to top the charts as a Feral Kitty Cat DPS. If you want to learn more about how to do that, check out Shadow's Guide. The link will be in the description. There are great pieces for melee, for casters, and then you have the interesting rare loot from the Dark Iron Emissary. A lot of interesting loot to get here. I would spend some time looking at this slide to see if it's worth it for you and your class. There are also four different schematics that drop off of Mechjanir Thermoplug himself, the final boss of the dungeon. Some interesting ones here, we have the Craftsman's Monocle, which is 15 intellect, the Flame Deflector, the Discombobulator Ray, and of course the Gnomish Cloaking Device. Very interesting stuff to get if you have engineering. On this slide are the quest rewards that are available to Horde players. The first quest is Rig Wars, which has three pretty great pieces of gear that are available. The dual reinforced leggings have high armor and increased defense by five. The cabin red robes are great for priests with high spirit, and the trip runner dungarees are amazing for enhancement shaman, feral druids, rogues, hunters with 18 agility. Also it should be said that these same rewards are available to Alliance, but from a different quest called the Grand Betrayal. The following three items are green, and they're available to both Horde and Alliance from two different quests. They're not bad rewards, but they don't really compare to the rewards from Rig Wars. And finally, there are nine pretty interesting BOE drops that drop off of trash mobs within Nomorgon. Some of these have very great stats, so in my opinion, it's definitely worth running just in case these do drop. Alright, so let's move on to how to actually get the transponder. Part 1 is to head to Orgrimmar, and then head over to the Valley of Honor inside Nog's machine shop. Inside, you'll find Nog. If you're at least level 25, he will give you a quest called Rig Wars. After picking up this quest, directly behind Nog, another quest will open up, obtainable by the goblin Sovik. This is the actual quest that will get you the transponder, but remember, you can't get it unless you accept Rig Wars first. So pick up the quest Chief Engineer Scooty from Sovik in Orgrimmar, who is also located inside Nog's machine shop in the Valley of Honor. This quest will task you with seeking out Chief Engineer Scooty, who is located in Booty Bay in Strangothorn Vale. So head outside of Orgrimmar, hop on the Gromgol Zeppelin, and fly or walk over to Booty Bay, and turn in the quest Chief Engineer Scooty to Scooty at 2878 in Booty Bay. If you can't find him, he's close to the inn, and he's the only goblin standing next to a giant transporter. Should be easy to find. Scooty will then immediately give you another quest called Nomorgon. All this quest will have you do is wait until Scooty calibrates the machine, the transporter located right next to him. This will only take a few moments. Once the yellow question mark appears over Scooty's head, you can turn in the quest and you'll receive your goblin transponder. Congratulations. Using the transponder is very easy. All you have to do is have the transponder in your inventory. And if you have it in your inventory and you step onto the transporter pad, it'll immediately transport you to Nomorgon. You can also step on the pad in Nomorgon and it'll transport you right back to Booty Bay. You can do this over and over again. There's no cooldown. The most important thing is that you have to have the transponder with you. Now, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the obvious Star Trek references involved in this quest chain and mechanic. So, Scooty, the chief engineer, is obviously an homage to Scotty, or Montgomery Scott from Star Trek the original series, who's played by James Doohan. Now, if you'll notice, when you transport into Nomorgon, you'll see another goblin named Sprock, who is obviously a, a tip of the hat to Spock from Star Trek, the original series as well, who is played by Leonard Nimoy. And then Chief Engineer and Away Team, both of those things are very common Star Trek terms. I'm a huge Star Trek fan, so I definitely wanted to make this point. This is something that I really appreciate. 
So as an aside, you have to get this Rig Wars quest to get your transponder. I'm assuming that you probably want to complete it because the rewards are pretty great. After you kill Mech Junior Thermoplug, he will drop Thermoplug's safe combination. You loot that from his corpse, head to the northeast corner of the room behind the pillars, and you'll notice that there's a Thermoplug safe. If you have the safe combination in your inventory, you'll be able to open up the safe, and then you'll be able to loot the rig blueprints. Bring the blueprints back to Nog and Orgrimmar and retrieve your reward. Briefly before we end, just two pointers to go over. Everyone in your party has to have the transponder in their inventories to use the transporter. It's not like a key where only one person has to open the door. Everyone has to have this item if they want to transport to Nomergon. So make sure everyone picks up the two quests in Orgrimmar, heads to Booty Bay, grabs the transponder so your whole party can transport over to Nomergon. Also, as an aside, if you do lose your transponder, if you accidentally throw it away, just talk to Scooty, he'll give you a new one for free. With that, guys, I'd like to thank you for watching this guide. I hope you really enjoyed it, and I hope you learned that running Normagon really isn't that hard as Horde. You just gotta do a quick little quest, and you can get over there. I think it's totally worth it. There's a lot of good quest rewards and items that you may find can really help you during the leveling process. If you like this video, please leave a like below. If you enjoy this type of content, consider subscribing because we have a lot more guides coming. And we do a lot of other different types of content, including Def Talk, which is a podcast that you can listen to not only on YouTube, but on Spotify, Google Play, SoundCloud, Stitcher, and iTunes. We have a Discord and a Twitter. You can consider following us if you wish. Those links are in the description below. Also, guys, this guide will be available on ClassicWild.live, and there will be many other guides available on that website as well. So head on over if you haven't to ClassicWild.live. Brandung Media, a friend and patron of the channel, has kindly started to generate Def Camp Meldoron TV merchandise in the form of t-shirts and hoodies. So if you want to support some Def Camp Meldoron TV stuff, head on over to Brandung Media's website. The link will be in the description. Finally, last but not least, thank you so much patrons for increasing the quality of the videos we make and inspiring us to make more videos. If you are considering becoming a patron of Def Camp Meldoron TV, you can head to our Patreon link in the description or click the link at the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. Keep on keep on and grinding. And I hope to see you in Classic Azeroth.